Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. Um, today we are just taking in this beautiful sunrise this morning. Um, however, we better get started getting some work done. But today we're going to do just a tiny bit of building on the roof again. We have a couple of pieces. We don't have a ton of them, but we do have a couple of pieces. Uh, one is just going to go right here. So number six, right there. And we do have a glass piece that we crafted a couple of episodes ago. Uh, we just didn't have the rounded wooden pieces that we needed to close that in. Okay, so let's get over here and put whatever we have extra in here. If you hear my laundry, I apologize, guys. It is Monday and it is laundry day. Um, number six again as well. And we have one piece of glass that we can put there. However, it would be nice to have a straight glass piece there. But for now, because we don't have it, let's go ahead and I don't know what's going on with that, guys. Let's rotate it a bit because that was just a bit awkward. And yeah, let's go ahead and make sure we have food and water. Make sure our fires are ready to go. Make sure we have power being produced and try to get out for the day and make sure that we can get some sandstone hopefully some pearls all of that lovely stuff and we need to start working on some oxygen tanks i want to do another dive uh, down into the caves again we do have medicinal stuff there uh, we need a little bit of steak would be lovely we have food let's have a carrot just top everything up our fires are doing okay but we do need some wood that's what i was in that crate for Let's just throw some wood in here and get out and about and hopefully we can get some more nails today guys uh, nails are lovely they are the bane of our existence though in this season because we are just needing a, a crap ton of them i don't even know how to put it guys but we're needing a bunch of nails um i did plant tomatoes i have carrots in this plant bed we have uh, cotton in this one and potatoes in this one. We're going to need this for more uh, Molotovs when we decide to raid another base. It is much cheaper to make those than it is to make the grenades. I also repaired the fish traps. Hopefully I did that on camera. If not, you just need some um, sticks and cordage and a hammer and you're good to go okay so let's just have a little look right around the area that we are normally in just to make sure we are not missing any pearls or any sandstone i don't see any right away let's check on this side and then we'll get out oh there's a pearl we'll get out and do a bit of looting hopefully we can find some good stuff it's a very pretty day out i know how quickly the weather can change in this game is that two pearls can change very very quickly okay let's do the deeper dive now hopefully we can get both of these before we need to come back to the surface for oxygen however it is not looking um, promising let's get some more oxygen come on we can do this oxygen is lovely let's get um, back down there's sandstone over there so things are starting to spawn in now, which is lovely. Very, very excited about that. Uh, let's get this kelp. There's some sandstone. We're going to try to grab that as well. It will take a bit more oxygen to grab that because it takes longer to harvest. But that's okay. If we lose a bit of health, it's okay as well. Um, let's go ahead and try to grab this as quickly as possible. Get back to the surface. And not die down here. Come on, don't get stuck in the mud. Okay, so we have that. Let's drop that inside. Um, come on. Come on, you can do it. I did just place the, um, what's it called? The cordage and the sticks in the crate out front. The little drop chest that we were making for loot when we raid bases. So there's that. Um, where can I just throw the sandstone and pearls? Just put you in here for now. Um, just because I want to get out as quickly as possible and get some loot today. 
the bears are out and about. We haven't been over into the valley since the bears have been doing their thing that I can recall. Um, but yeah, it's so lovely in spring. It's my favorite time of year, even in real life. Everything is just springing to life. The grass is growing. It's time to start cutting the grass again. Um, flowers are blooming. Even though I have horrible allergies, I still would rather have that than have the cold weather, guys. I just really don't like cold weather. We do have ourselves a lock pick. We probably should also start carrying the insect repellent with us as well. Because we are going to need honey. And to get honey, you need the insect repellent to sort of chop the bees away from the honey or to destroy the bees nest or whatever the case may be um yeah there's that this is our locked crate for our free lock pick let's go ahead and grab all of this lovely stuff planks cordage no nails though that's a bit um sad however there's eight refined iron fragments there some adhesive biofuel shotgun rounds lovely more scrap and 44 rounds very very lovely excellent loot don't mind that at all there's some crates over here, which is also great. I see three crates. Uh, let's get this building crate first, simply because there could possibly be nails in it. And there is just a couple, but that's okay. Let's grab this crate up here. There's an ammo crate that I did see. And then there's another crate down on the rock. Um, let's go ahead and grab it as well. There's nails in that, as well as an arrow. Very, very lovely. I think, and I'm very hopeful, that today could potentially be an excellent looting day. There's two pieces of scrap around this rock as well. Some cloth, electrical components, tomato seeds. The seeds are lovely. Uh, we did have to use some tomatoes to make tomato seeds. So there's that. Um, but um, we are going to get more, or more tomatoes back than the tomatoes we used to make the seeds. So one tomato will make one seed and one seed produces two tomatoes so there's that um let's try to head over toward the valley we always have excellent luck looting over in this area quite a bit um but today may not be the same um, I know we're getting close to Bravo. We don't really want to annoy those guys. Probably we'll have another revenge attack today from the fortress base. Um, those guys seem to always do two or three revenge attacks in a row. It just puzzles me, honestly. Um, uh, don't have any idea why that happens. But it does, and I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't mind them. Beach Bum mentioned that she didn't even have the hunters turned on yet. That is an excellent... Um, plan if you don't love that you can still play this game it is uh, pretty well suited for everyone um, you can turn the animals on like a lower spawn or whatever as well and that does help if you don't love the combat or whatever with the hunters you can do that also okay let's go ahead and grab your meat and your hopefully fat and hide and we'll take all of that with us um I said animal hide, but it's cloth in this game. Let's go ahead and do some wood chopping just here. I don't know why I picked this particular tree, but it's the one we're going with now. Um, let's get up this direction. Since we did kill the bear over here, I think at the very beginning of this season, I died about 15 times or so right here in this area because there's a couple of bears here. And I ended up losing a bag here as well and yeah it was horrible we lost everything at the very beginning of this season however we ended up getting on our feet we got our double barrel shotgun crafted and that is really the weapon that i am most comfortable with i'm just chopping a couple of trees here guys we do need some wood for the fires at some point but we also need wood now for planks because we are not really gathering a lot of wood at the moment I know my hands are still dirty from butchering the bear. That's okay. Hopefully, uh, we can wash our hands down in the valley at the small pond. Um, if not, if I think we're going to get infected, I will try to wash my hands before that happens. Okay. Uh, there's a wolf over there. We could take him out. 
The only problem with that is really can't see him from where I am. Okay, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Okay, let's go ahead and butcher him as well. Take his liver and fat and cloth as well. Okay. I don't see any crates, but I do, again, want to get over into the valley first. And then we'll see how well things go from there. Okay, there was some scrap just here. Carrot just here ended up being the carrot seed. Okay. Plant fiber. Um, Albion brought up the excellent point. Guys, I am reading comments. I don't get to respond to every single comment, but I am reading them. Um, she brought up the excellent point that you can use um, the plant fiber for mass. Um, one full stack of mass, which is a hundred, sorry, one full stack of plant fiber, which is a hundred pieces, will give you 50 mass, which is lovely considering we had like maybe four stacks. I did place some of it over into the crate to use for mass. Um, if we end up needing it for cordage or whatever before we um use it for mass we can always go over there and get it you know out of that crate it's not like it's in there permanently um it's just hanging out a crate a different crate than what we are used to putting it in which is lovely um let's see if there's any pearls or sandstone or anything in here that we can use um sandstone looks like about it um that's okay there's a wolf over there hopefully he doesn't come in the water with us because he will definitely survive longer than we will. And I think he is. Maybe not. Panic just a little bit there. Okay. I don't see him. Let's try to get the sandstone. Because you can't um, pull your weapon out under the water, guys. It just simply will not let you do that. So it does make it a bit more difficult when fighting the animals underneath the water or in the water. Um, they usually win. Um, usually being 90% of the time, they do win. Okay, there's a bear over here. That is okay. We'll let him do his thing over there while we chop a bit more wood over here. We could always turn the wood that we're chopping into planks. We do have a couple of planks in our inventory as well. Um, that we've gotten from a crate, which is very, very cool. And not at all complaining about that. Not even a little bit, guys. So first and foremost, let's just chop a tiny bit of wood around here. Just a couple more trees, maybe. And then hopefully some of the crates will start spawning in. And if they do, that'll be excellent. But if not, our inventory is looking really good today. We've gotten quite a bit of loot. I would truthfully and honestly love a bit more nails. But, you know, that's always going to be the case every single day. Every day that we're out looting, I would definitely prefer that we get more nails. Okay, there's a bear over there. There's a piece of scrap just here that I do want to get. Uh, we'll come back over this way, hopefully, before we make it home. And see if we've spawned in any crates or anything over here. Trolled by Ferny Fern. I thought that was one of the um, medical supply crates. I don't have to kill him. Probably shouldn't. Um, the meat's probably going to go bad anyway before we make it home today however we do have an outpost just over the hillside here we could always take some of this stuff up there and drop it off you know to have when we're over in that area as well uh, probably wouldn't be a horrible idea just so uh, we have food when we get over there okay um, I have not been doing a Friday series guys I have just um, I have the time to do it still. I just haven't been doing it. Um, seven days to die wasn't getting great views. Um, about 50 or so per episode, which is still pretty good. Um, but it was doing the worst on the channel. And by worst, I mean like maybe half or a third of the views of anything else, you know, any other video would get on the channel. But um, I haven't been doing a Friday series. I want to know what you guys are interested in seeing. 
as an extra series um, like a one day a week series maybe if I get the time I might do like Friday and Saturday um, however just getting the time to record and edit just is not happening right now guys we are super super busy um, I do make time for Monday through Thursday the two infected two subsistence videos I really am enjoying playing both of these games and um, I want to know what you guys would like for me to play I have been playing a bit of Miss Survival um, it's a pretty difficult game um, I don't understand a lot of it right now um, I would like to play it a bit longer before uh, bringing it to the channel simply because I really don't understand the game as well as I would love to to kind of help you guys play it along with me as well um, so I, I do have quite a bit of other games I have some new games that's come out I was curious if you guys would like to see maybe a one or two episodes of like the wandering village um, and I think there is um, sapiens is also one that I've purchased and been playing quite a bit lately um, I don't know how we ended up back over here but talking I guess happened uh, there's a moose up on the hillside um, yeah we could use the meat and the sinew and all that but it's not a big deal right now I don't want to miss any crates but probably gonna happen because I've just been talking and not really paying attention um, I do have lots of other games but if there's something that you would like to see me try um, you know leave it in the comment section I would love to purchase a new game I will definitely purchase it and play it for a bit if it's a game that I haven't already um, played before. Uh, before I bring it to the channel, simply because, you know, I don't understand a lot of the stuff that needs to happen in every single game that I'm not familiar with. I have Stranded Deep, if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, Osiris New Dawn, I have that. It's, it's a bit of a different type of game, but I have not played it at all yet. I did purchase it when it was on sale on the steam sales um, but I would like to find something new to bring to the channel a new game a new series um, something like that something new to me as well okay so we have a bit of help problems um, hopefully it'll go back up pretty soon um, yeah, definitely made a roundabout loop. Don't know how I managed to do that. But we did probably miss a ton of loot by doing it this way. Let's go ahead and grab this wolf. We are pretty low on meat, guys. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing so much hunting today. Uh, we are pretty low on food. We need food. We need um, spoiled food as well. I really don't have enough to let it go bad right now. But we do kind of need that as well. We don't have any of it or very much of it at all. Let's go ahead and chop the six log tree here um, just because it is six log tree. And we'll get a worm from that. We'll drop that in the fish trap. So that'll be lovely as well. Um, there's a berry here that's going to go bad very soon. I don't want that to go bad at all. I don't like losing. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to keep chopping on that tree. I uh, don't like losing any of the food or anything like that, but sometimes it happens. Um, let's get this piece of scrap. Very, very nice. Okay, we have a lot of daylight left, I think. So maybe we can... Um, go over on the other side and go down you know through the birch forest a tiny bit and see if there's any loot on that side of the map Ooh, animal crate lovely not complaining i would like to get a rabbit to put in the animal housing simply because there's not anything that will go bad and the rabbits produce a lot of uh, fertilizer so there's that I'm thinking about getting a rabbit for the animal housing. And we haven't really used the animal housing in a while. Um, since the food spoilage, the update, um, it's just not feasible to put chickens in there. Unless you check the, um, the animal housing twice a day for eggs because they do go bad very, very quickly. 
And the best food currently in the game is the um, the rib dinner, the roast roast ribs or the rack of ribs and vegetables or whatever that is. That's currently the best game, uh, best food in the game, because you don't have to raise up the moose, uh, feed them, and watch them grow, and lose stuff on them. Um, they're just out and about and you just kill them and take their racks of ribs and call it a day go home and you know cook that but it is currently the best food in the game the roast chicken dinners used to be the easiest to get um, the best food because you've got the eggs in return that you could turn into steak and eggs uh, but now it's just not feasible because the eggs go bad before you get them most of the time. Okay. Let's get in here and drop off some loot. Then we'll head out again and hopefully go over into the birch forest for a bit. Come on. Do we have anything that goes in there? We don't. We have some meat that we need to put away first. You and you. So our fridge is looking a bit better guys uh, we did put quite a bit of meat in there let's put you and you and we have some fat finally we have 78 pieces of wood not horrible let's put you away I don't know if we're going to have time to get back out or not um, let's just drop all this over here in the drop chest Put away the things that will go bad, and then we'll just drop everything else over here. Don't want to lose any of this stuff. It's excellent loot for the most part. Okay, I'll deal with that overnight. I can just get out here and definitely deal with that. Let's go ahead and get the fish from here. I'm going to leave the um, crayfish in there. Let's get the sandstone. We desperately need that as well for glass work. And we're going to need a ton more of it anyway. Come on. Okay. We have a lot of glass that we want to do. Um, definitely want to build glass roofs for the towers. I want to build glass roof for the base. I'm very excited about, you know, being able to do as much as we have been doing and are doing on the base. Um, very, very cool. Let's get this plant fiber. Let's see if we can get this crate here. Take that. Okay, didn't see anyone. There's a bear there. I think that bear's been damaged. No, it hasn't. Never mind. Bears in excellent health, guys. Okay, I think there's a crate down here that I want to get. Building crate is nice. Hopefully there's nails inside. Some. Very lovely. The nails are, for the most part, the hold up on the base. Um, really, really need tons and tons of nails, guys. There's just... No two ways about it. More plant fiber. We can always turn that into mass if we need to. Oh dear. Yeah, I got infected that time. I got lucky the first time, so I wasn't expecting to get lucky this time with the wolf. Uh, without getting infected, so there's that. I'm not sure if that's potassium or iron, but either way, we can use it. Not a big deal. We can always refine potassium and use this fertilizer. It makes excellent fertilizer for your plant beds. I think it only takes about 10 to 15 potassium to completely fertil Whoa! fertilize your plant bed. And that's a bit close. We might get a revenge attack tomorrow from that little mistake. Okay. I really wish this part of the lake would open up down there. It's very pretty. I'm not 
seeing any loot over here, guys. Just a couple of plant fiber. Yeah, not really seeing anything worth coming over here for. We got infected in the process, so that's not even a little bit cool. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky on the way back to the base. We're definitely going to try anyway. Here's a crate. These crates are the ones that are so difficult to see in the summer, but I don't mind. Uh, we'll get whatever crates we can see and we'll let the others go. We'll just call it leaving it behind for someone else. The rogues and the hunters might need a little bit of loot as well. Now let's get just a few more pieces of wood from the six log tree and we will get up here and get this crate. Hopefully it's not too close to anyone. Well, was it a crate or was it a wolf? I'm not so certain. I think it's a crate just up here. A couple of crates up here. That's pretty lovely. Okay, I need you and definitely want you guys as well. Okay, it is starting to get dark. The sun is setting. It's gorgeous when the sun is setting, guys. Let's get this iron here. Definitely going to need it. And I do think that I am going to get home and call it a day. We are very close to everyone here. I don't really want to annoy anyone too much. But I am going to go home, sort the loot that we did get from the first part of the, the day as well as the evening loot. Um, two nearly full backpacks of loot is not bad. Not bad for one day, guys. Not bad at all. But I do want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.